Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we'll discuss the causes and fixes for the engine code P0305. But first, what does the P0305 code mean? The P0305 engine code means the fifth cylinder isn't firing. Your car develops this issue when the air-fuel mixture in the fifth cylinder fails to ignite, disrupting the combustion process. You may notice the following symptoms. Power loss, jerking when you accelerate, increased fuel consumption, and illuminated check engine light. Here's what causes it. Worn spark plugs. These spark plugs light up the air-fuel mixture. They are constantly exposed to heat and corrosion in the combustion chamber, making them prone to wear. Consequently, you may get the P0305 code if the fifth cylinder spark plug is worn out. Vacuum leaks. A vacuum leak means there is reduced vacuum pressure within the engine system. It often causes an airflow imbalance that affects the air-fuel mixture. You may notice hissing noises in the engine bay, white smoke, poor fuel efficiency, and stalling. Clogged fuel injectors. Fuel injectors spray fuel into the combustion chamber. Your car won't run properly if they supply too much or too little. Over time, carbon builds up on the injectors, affecting the air-fuel mixture. Here's how to fix it. Replace the faulty spark plug. Park your car and let the engine cool before working on it. Open the hood and use compressed air to remove debris and dirt from the engine area. Doing so prevents items from falling into the cylinder during the replacement. You may also disconnect the negative battery terminal as an added safety precaution. Once done, remove the faulty spark plug. To do this, grip the bottom of the spark plug wire and remove it. Insert a spark plug socket into the compartment and twist to remove the old spark plug. Measure the new spark plug's gap to determine its suitability. Refer to your vehicle's owner's manual to find the optimum gap distance for your spark plugs. Insert the new spark plug and torque it to your car's specifications. Check the other spark plugs and replace them accordingly. Reconnect your car battery if you disconnected it and check if the error code persists. Check for vacuum leaks. Park your car, open the hood, and let the engine cool before getting to work. Open the hood and check the air intake box to ensure it's sealed. Tighten the mounting screws if the intake box isn't properly secured. Once done, disconnect the air intake tube from the throttle body and connect a shop vacuum to it. Ensure the vacuum tube is sealed before setting the vacuum in reverse. Spray soapy water and check for bubbles indicating a leak. After spotting the leak, replace or seal the damaged hoses. You can use RTV silicone or available automotive vacuum leak sealants. In some cases, you may have to replace the intake manifold. Clean the fuel injectors. Purchase a fuel injector cleaning kit that's suitable for your vehicle. Once you have the kit, review your owner's manual to locate the fuel injectors in your car since the location varies among models. Next, open the hood and disconnect the fuel rail and regulator pressure line. It's worth noting that not all cars have a fuel regulator pressure line. Once done, add the solvent to the fuel cleaning kit and hang it on the hood above the engine. Attach the kit's outlet pipe to the fuel rail, then unscrew the fuel tank cap to prevent pressure buildup. Remove the fuel pump's fuse to prevent the pump from sending gas to the engine. Check the specific instructions of your cleaning kit to see if an air supply is needed. Start your engine and let it idle until all the solvent drains from the cleaning kit. Disconnect the kit and reconnect the fuse and rail hose. Start your engine and check if the fuel injectors are functioning properly. Thanks for watching.